We are joined now by Chloe Agnew, an Irish singing sensation and natural-born performer. Chloe's first televised appearance was when she was just four weeks old. She recorded her first album when she was 12 years old and her second at 14, then became one of the original members of the all-female Irish ensemble Celtic Woman. She's been performing solo since 2013, and we are so grateful to have adopted her into the Notre Dame family and to have her back here for Notre Dame Day for the second year in a row. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. Hi. Thrilled to be back. Well, we're always happy to have you here. Chloe, you started, I, I'm just like, okay, you performed four weeks old, 12, you did your first album. Yeah. 14, you joined Celtic Woman. How, I mean, you were just 14. What was that like? Yeah, I mean, in, insane. Yeah, I think, you know, looking back in hindsight, I, I'm very lucky I come from a musical family at home in Ireland. So growing up in the business, it was very much a way of life. Um, so I think I, I was lucky I had that kind of a little bit of training. But um, no, I had no idea. When we came together for the first Celtic Woman DVD, we came together on the basis that it was going to be a one night show. We had no idea that it would it would turn into almost 10 years of my life. And I always joke that I say, I think I said yes to doing that first show because I thought I'd get the next day off school. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think it would be 10 years did of my life. Did you ever go back to school? <laughs> I did, I did. I had a, got a wonderful tutors on the road for many years with me. And when I wasn't on tour with Celtic Woman, I would go back into school when I was home off the road in Dublin. So I tried to make the best of both worlds uh, and finish out my schooling. It was um, very important to me, but uh, yeah, just just, I, I think in hindsight, looking back, yeah, it's, it's hard to believe that, that that whole world started when I was only 14. And then in, since, you've been, since 2013, you've been performing solo. So what's been the difference then moving from an ensemble to being on your own? Well, quite literally that. I think being on your own is, is it's as equally liberating as it is terrifying. You know, there's there's a whole load of extra work that goes into to being a solo artist. Um, but with that comes so much um, f freeness of, of you get to choose what kind of music you do, you get to, to choose the places you go and perform in and the collaborations you're involved with. So that having sense of a little bit more control over who you are as an artist and a performer is, is, uh, is, very, is very good. It's, I enjoy that part of it. That, that's I understand wonderful. the first time you performed here at Notre Dame was about 14 months ago. That's and right. since then you've become a card-carrying member of the Fighting <laughs> Irish. They can't get rid of me now. <laughs> You're stuck with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what's been, oh, I love it. Other than the Irish name, what's been the draw for you? Oh, well, you know what? I mean, I was only telling somebody earlier. When I was a little girl, I went to school in Ireland in Notre Dame de Mission, and we had always heard of Notre Dame in America. And uh, it was a dream of mine to just see this campus, let alone ever be involved with this amazing community and family here. And I think that was the thing for me that when I came here last year, I just suddenly felt so at home, so felt like I'd been here before. I'd been so welcomed into this amazing community here. And, um, you know, it's so funny. Anywhere I go now and I wear my Notre Dame sweatshirts or my, my hats, I'll always see somebody in an airport or somebody who'll come up to me and say, go Irish. And I, oh, yeah. I feel this pride. <laughs> I've adopted Notre Dame as part of mine. I feel like I'm alumni. And I understand that you saw uh, your very first football game. You saw the Cotton Bowl. That's a pretty big game I to have. Right. Do. I mean, I started yeah. pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my lifetime. It's just uh, we don't have anything on that kind of scale at home in Ireland. Well, so, I've been in a pub or two during a Gaelic football well, we're match. Well, yeah. that's right. I think. <laughs> but it's sitting in a stadium of nearly, I think, close to 100,000 people, um, you know, was just absolute. And, and I think the like I said, the community seeing that um, just that team spirit and, and, and um, the, the support from the people who traveled from all over the country to be there for that game was just phenomenal for me. It really was. It was such an experience. Yeah. I so, still have to figure out how football works. Though. Well, <laughs> I don't, still need a few more lessons. You got time. <laughs> no problem. You're going to be performing twice during Notre That's Dame right. Day. So where and when will we be able to hear you sing? I'm going to be here tonight at 9.09 p.m. on the dot uh, down here at the Duncan Student Centre performing a couple of songs. And tomorrow evening kicking off at 7.30 in the DeBartolo uh, Performing Arts Centre. Actually, I believe it starts at 7, but I'm on about 7.30. And, um, you know, I, 
uh, for me, I'm thrilled to be able to come and share a little bit of my Irishness, as if Notre Dame needs any more Irishness. <laughs> but, uh, you know, part of my culture, part of my history with Celtic Woman, performing some of those favourites, some of the classics. Um, and then just getting to be, be a part of, of this wonderful, wonderful weekend is, is really, really great. And I'm thrilled this time round, I'm performing with uh, several of the students here. I have got Tim Machuda joining me on violin. I've got Alex Monsur uh, on piano um, and Felix Rubino on, on guitar. So insanely talented Notre Dame students. I'm honored to be sharing the stage with them and that they're my band for this weekend, oh, well, which is cool. awesome. So. Chloe, we're th so thrilled to have you here. And for as charming as you are sitting here Hi. talking, I can't wait to see you on the stage. Excited, hope everyone comes out and has a good time. Yes, we will. Well, thank you very much. And so just remember, we're gonna hear from Chloe later tonight, 9.09, as she said, and then again in that big concert that starts tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tickets are free for those of you who are in the area, so be sure to come out and enjoy the show and Chloe and her Notre Dame student band.